So, hey guys, here's Tim CGI with another video. Today I am gonna show you this dragonfly breakdown because someone on Instagram asked me how I did this, and here you can see just a little RD rendering. And it's a dragonfly, it sits on these lines here and in a little cave. And yes, now let's go into Houdini and here's already the little render window and I will show you the setup. It's pretty straightforward and for example I can switch here the HDR file and get another camera. Maybe I can show you this just quick. Let's get a the shading cam. Let's get into the shading cam. Let's hit the reload. And I will do a, a little new Octane tutorial in a few weeks because the new 2019 version is now out as a plugin. I got it already installed here and it's really cool with new layered material but it's not fully supported now there are still a few bugs but yeah I will do a <coughs> sorry guys I will do a tutorial on Octane for Houdini and this is another HDR file here but I like the other one the most so, let's get started. So, let's dive into it. First, let's cover the dragonfly here. So, let's dive in there. It's just a simple sculpted dragonfly, and I separated subdivided it and make just some few adjustments here and there merged it together created the eyes here with a little scatter node and scatter fears on points and then I created the wings here remeshed them to create just a little Voronoi pattern here so you can see it. So it's with a for each primitive. And then I will go for each connectivity, so for each wing, so left and right. And I will get them out and transformed them because I did here a little animation. So let's have a look. So this is just a simple RD animation here. It's a little job network and the transform nodes are linked with the job network and it's the rotation axis around here. And you will get this smooth organic animation up and down and jitter it a little bit. And for sure you can make further adjustments. So then I make an output and put this whole little butterfly out here. So then I rescale it and place it on the lines. And that's the dragonfly. And let's go for now to the lines. So the lines are up here, so this is the network, this is just some R&D here, so you can do stuff like, like this, it's pretty cool. And yeah, I just created several things here, let's have a quick look here, yeah, it's pretty cool. Just some organic lines here. and. Now I will show you the the liney stuff. So I will start here. Let's 
template the grid here. I will start with an easy circle and I will remesh it and then I will deform it. Something like this. It's a little bit of wax, so I um, measure the distance, er, the length, sorry guys, and I will just multiply it by the y axis with a little bit of sinus and I can fit the whole thing so I can adjust it and then we will go further I will clip it and I will mirror it fuse it so to get one mesh and remesh the whole thing here and smooth it so I will get this shape and the cool thing is I got my distance here as an attribute and I pipe this distance attribute all the way down to further use it and let's go further scatter connect adjacent pieces subdivide resample fuse smooth and smooth and then you will get this organic shape color color create pin groups so each point here with a neighbor count of zero will get into this group so like this point here this point here this point here and you will get um, you will get the points here let's just group pin let's get uh, pin here so you will get these marked in a group and then I will transform it to the center and I will blast everything but not these pinpoints so I will keep them I will clean them so just remove the attributes I don't need and then make an ID attribute so let's get this template away so I will show you this this is pretty cool so when you got points here so this is point 0 to 16 and you will write integer at id equals at pt num semicolon you will get for each point you will get a point id and this is of course from 0 to 16 and now I created a little cave here so it's just a sphere it's a sphere make it uh, density VDB then it's a really basic setup here for the noise just an anti alias noise and constant frequency and bind it out convert it back VDB from polygons VDP connect, uh, segment by connectivity to get rid of these things here blast them away convert it back and you will get something like this so oh, I transform it a little bit and now I use the min pos function to snap the points onto the cave here so let's template this so the points will snap to the closest distance I will merge them together so I will merge these points here with these points here merge them together and now I, when I merge them each point has the same ID so 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2 and so on and I can add them now with the I by group by attribute and type ID and you will get these lines. So then I will resemble the lines, make the pinpoints here, so curve u equals equals one. So you can make here resemble curve u equals one. And then you can fuse them together. And after a simple vellum simulation, so let's just cook some frames here. It's just a, a vellum struts body, so it's just a simple soft body setup. 
let's just view that so you will get something like this and I will freeze them and again connect the JSON pieces subdivide move and I will get here a rest position I will get the centroid of the mass I will ramp the, uh, the centroid here so I can let's just visualize that here I will create here an attribute called center dist and let's just find it center dist where is it here is it so center dist is just uh, the distance between the extract centroid point and the position and you will get this ramp here and you can use that ramp to drive here the scale so the main strings here or the main connections will get bigger in the end and then here is just some other setup to build the lines here in the end let's move them and so on and bind them out as a group so I just make here scatter and scatter on CD and I ramped this here so only scatter on the white areas and build the lines and then merge it back together and you will get this um, connections here and then again make the centroid again make this again and make a mesh out of it so this already looks pretty cool in my opinion and now we will uh, probably reduce them so we, we, we don't need much um, resolution on the mesh and now just make it red and make a transfer from the cave make this black make this red attribute transfer on the color and you will get the connection points here and now I can promote the color to the primitives and delete the delete non-selected and I can subdivide them a little bit here I can color these back I delete the attribute and I will go through uh, for each connectivity I will just scale them to zero to get the smallest uh, to get the central point or you can even go here to uh, take this node extract the centroid and make the same thing then there's just a little vex again so I will create this uh, dist CD here to create again a distance between the center point and I can color these in and make a displace so without displays with displays it's just multiplied with the color by a scale and displays along normal so I can tweak here the scale and then I will scatter points of course again on the CD so here uh, is the point density denser than here and I will just delete half points oh no wait I will snap the half points again to this geometry with the minpost function I will end this loop here to get it on each yeah connection type of thing and I will then again build lines merge them together again I forget to disable the template flag so let's move on and just again make here a uh, center something like this make a poly wire out of it this may take a while yeah and just move it again so it's it's just the same process in further and further iterations and I will transfer uh, the dist attribute back and I will get the dist attribute from above here and 
now you can use this for shading for yeah for to make further um, adjustments and so on and I will smooth it uh, again with the CD and yeah there is a poly reduce to poly reduce it and you will get something like this here so then to give the whole thing normals cave normals and merge this stuff all together and you will get something like this here so and now here are just the single pieces for shading what looks good what looks bullshit and <laughs> So you can just enable these here and yeah, uh, make the shading and I clipped this because I don't need this geometry and yes, just some subdivisions subdivided and a simple noise over the whole thing so I just get the rest in, make the anti alias noise an absolute value and displays it along the normals and on the output you will end up getting something like this here so let's go to the shading tab let's just mm -hmm. enable the render here so let's get cam shading cam shading here let's enable the render Processing the scene here, and let's just go into Octane, and yeah, that's a standard Octane setup here. Just some R and D with different HDRIs, or I did here some manual shading, and here are some materials. So this is, for example, the material for the cave. So with dirt. So uh, just a simple curvature node and just some noises mixed together and to get something like this here. These are the structured lines, it's just a little rough basic specular. And the dragonfly, this is the body. So let's zoom in here a little bit, let's enable the render region. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And yeah, the body, it's just a noise. Here are his noise and I played with different kinds of gradients. And it looks like a little bit metallic. And yeah, I played with, with diffuse and with specular, but I like that the most. And these are the wings, just simple specular and a little universal in the mix material. And I also played here a little bit with different kinds of shading approaches. And here are the eyes, just a basic specular. And that's it. So it's pretty straightforward, I think. It looks pretty cool. So with the close up here and the bokeh and I hope you like this quick breakdown and I will see you in the next tutorial breakdown or some other kind of video. So thanks guys for watching and cheers.